Hey, this is Tony Rock, and you checking out Baller Alert, all right? Listen, when some shit go down, some ratchet shit, they the first on the scene. They get there before Channel 7 News, okay? Anybody get knocked out, robbed, shot, any baby mama's drama, they are on the scene. Baller Alert. I love them. And now every day of my life, I bomb. Well, first of all, thank you very much for that, and happy birthday. Thank you so much. We're out here celebrating, of course, the birth your birthday, the BET Awards. But most of all, we want to talk about, we love charity, not just the ratchet stuff. And we want to talk about the My Rock Foundation. What is that, and can you tell us a little bit about it? My Rock was started by my sister and I to, and to educate people about diabetes. My father had diabetes. He passed away when I was a stupid teenager that thought I knew everything and, you know, didn't want to listen to him. So now I miss him even more than you could ever imagine. So once I got a little bit of money, my sister said we should do something to honor my pops. We started the My Rock Foundation. Just to let people know it's not the end of the world to have diabetes. It's like you can live with it, you can work out, you can eat right, and you can live a long life. It's not the end of the world. But people just don't know better, so they don't do better. And you've had a great last couple of years, especially um, you're doing your all deaf digital thing. Um, what, is, what are your thoughts on, because I've noticed with Instagram, you know, Baller Alert's killing it on Instagram, and I've noticed a lot with, like, comedy. Comic creeping. Comic creeping, boy. <laughs> and I, I noticed Comic a lot. Comic creeping got me in some fucking trouble. Can we talk about that? What happened? What happened? What happened? I, I tweeted something about Bow Wow's uh, impending nuptials that I thought was funny, and, like, 99 people said it was funny, and then the 100th person was like, yo, that's fucked up. And that's all people seem to hawk on was what at one person. So then he got wind of it, and his people was like, "Yo, they started sending." I guess you could call it shots, but they was blanks. But you know, it was it was, it was comical at the end of the day. It was comical. If you talk about me, you talk about me. I don't care if you saying something good or bad. You talk about me, you talk about me. And it was comical. It was hilarious. But um, back to what I was saying about comedy, and we're now we're getting 15 second clips on Instagram and things like that. What are your thoughts on comedy taking? on a more digital presence rather than just television. Uh, I, so, you know what, a lot of stand-up comics don't like those those 15 second guys. But I don't mind them, it's just another way to get comedy out there. And I think they realize, I'm sure they realize, because I see a lot of those guys at my shows every week, so they realize how hard it is to do stand-up. So the 15 second comics, it's a place for everybody. It's like, I'm, let's share the wealth, I don't care, I don't, I don't mind. Nobody knock me off my, off my spot. Oh, okay. Do you have any favorite 15 second comics? Uh, King Karan. I like yeah, from he's, he's the man. Oh, you from the H? My yeah. second home, my second home. Already. Yeah. <laughs> you know. All right, well, what else do you have going on right now? Uh, sh all Deaf Comedy, I'm trying to remember everything. All Deaf Comedy Live, we're going to shoot a pilot for that. Russell Simmons putting the money up, we're going to shoot a pilot for that. So hopefully it'll be the new Def Jam for the next millennium. Uh, we shot a web series called The Big Leaf that Russell produced as well. That just got picked up for 10 episodes. And I'm touring into the new year. I have, I have dates all the way to December 31st. Awesome. Well, congratulations on all that you have going on. And thank you for checking out Baller. I'm in man. <laughs>